some places, people eat snakes. Amen. Some places, people eat dog. I know about that because I was in the Philippines. That, day, that was a delicacy. That was a special thing for them. A dog. When I said dog, I mean a bow, wow, wow. That's right. They eat dog, brother. And a guy, brother, told me that. Sam won't let me friend me. <laughs> Went up to his house. I want to be polite, you know. He, he had a nice fruit tree out there in the yard. And he told me, he said, Come, you want to taste something? I said, I'll tell you. It, it gives a good idea to ask people, what, what, what is it? I didn't say, No, what is it? It looked like tuna fish to me. So I took it and I'm going to look, look crackle. It's good. You see that fruit over there? Now take, go over there and get that fruit. And now eat the fruit along with it. And I didn't thought about it until I was on the airplane, way up there in the air, coming back to the States. I'm over there, always get the other side when I can look out. I look up and I saw a beautiful rainbow. Thank you. Oh, what a beautiful rainbow. And just thinking and meditating. And my mind went on to that visit I had with this brother at his home. And I don't know if anybody here knew they were on the plane, but I said, he killed me dog. <laughs> <laughs> he killed me dog. That's what I was eating dog. That's a special thing. When I got back in the state, showing up, I read in the paper where they got a big old truck with the, with the, with the, with the crates that you do church chickens. Had dogs all in this crate, all big trucks, stack up dogs, dogs. And they're going to the market in the Philippines. Hear me out there with the Filipinos. Y'all out there, you know you eat dogs. And you still eat them. You eat them over here too. Like I eat the chickens, you eat the dogs. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 What I'm trying to say, the, the way they had it, had it all chucked up there, it tasted good. So you don't know how the dog wants to taste it cook it. Listen, I, I look out at the church today, and I hear a preacher say he had dog. <laughs> I don't eat no more dog now, uh -huh. but that brother sneak that dog on me. Uh -huh. And I call myself being polite and help you <laughs> I took it. He said, "I tell you." So God is true. Every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused, be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. You should always, when you go to eat, ask the Lord, say, Lord, I thank you for this food. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, would you bless it, Lord, and sanctify it through our truth, because our word is true. Thank you, Lord. Eat what is set before you, ask no question for conscience. Uh-huh. See, that's why I didn't know about that then, if I asked uh -huh. no question. Amen. See, if I'd ask some questions there about that, piece of meat was on that cookie. I'd have some conscience on my mind. My Amen. Was that That's right. But I didn't ask no question. I didn't thought about no question. They know this was written now. This mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen, brother. Verse 5. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. It is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Now, if God has sanctified my food, who am I going to care about? What I care about somebody say, oh, you should be eating that. It's a sin to eat that. It's a sin to eat that. Show me where it's written that it's a sin. Amen. I can show you where it's written that I can eat it. Amen. 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 So if you can't show me, then shut your mouth up. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to read what God said. Read with God. We're reading from 1 Timothy, the fourth chapter. We're now in verse 6. If thou put the brethren, if thou put the brethren, in remembrance of in, these things, in remembrance of these things, I'm trying to put somebody in remembrance of them now. Read. Thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. God said, if you do what I'm doing here now with the word of God, you will be a good minister. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Nourished up in the words of faith uh -huh. and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. Amen. Read, brother. Verse 
verse 7. But refuse profane and old wives' fables. Yeah. And exercise thyself rather unto godliness. For body what? For bodily exercise profiteth little. Okay, so, you know, you, know, you go out there and do your exercise, everything, you know. There's some men and women too. They're all in the, the gyms and they, oh, they're really working out, giving a workout. God said that profit a little. But there's some more exercise that God wants you to exercise. Yes, sir. Exercise in his word, being a doer and not a hero. That's a hero, not a doer. See, we receive our own self. Mm -hmm. That's the exercise God wants. Exercise in his word. Do it. Yes, Lord. Amen. Read. But godliness is profitable unto all things. Uh huh. Having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. Yeah. Amen. Put the um, Hebrew to 10 chapter. 30 for the first. Hebrew. 10 chapter. 30. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Be a doer of the word, brothers and sisters, out there on the internet and, and YouTube. Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verse 35. Verse 35. Cast out away, therefore, your confidence. Uh huh. See, we can even cast our confidence away. You bet. You can, you, you can find out how strong someone. You got the Holy Ghost? Then you should be strong. Amen. And you should love one another. Amen. Because the love of God constrain us to love one another. Yes, Lord. You don't have the Holy Ghost and what a brother can say something here, you get all angry right away, you left, you leave home. You don't leave your natural home just on, on any kind of term. Amen. Why you left home? I left home because I couldn't take my brother. You didn't have much love for your brother. What about the other family? Well, well he just caught in the net too. Mm. I'm gone. Where are you going? Yes, Lord. If anybody, I hear Ella Ferman say this, y'all words here. If the word of God run you out from here, then you need to be gone. But I'm going to tell you something. And I hope that I'm wrong. No good will come of it. Amen. No good will come of this. Amen. Amen. Who do you think you who do you think you're playing with? Amen. I guess what I'm saying. I'm not doing this saying nothing to frighten you, but I'm telling you the truth. The truth. No, Amen. Just, just mark my word. No good gonna come of it. If that's why you just walk out here. Right. Amen. Amen. Let's go to something. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, yeah. which hath great recompense of reward. You have a great recompense of reward. If you hold on to God's word and obey, you have great recompense. Read. Verse 36. For ye have need of patience. That's the thing. Our patience is so short. You got to have patience. You know, I've been watching certain things. I like, I, 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 well, I just use uh, Brother Del for example. Mm -hmm. I, I, he don't know, but I pay attention to him. Look. He's like subtle. Amen. Amen. You know what I mean? Like subtle. When the word comes on it, he's like subtle. Oh God, he takes it. Thank I you, Jesus. One, I'm just, I just use him now. Amen. 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 But he takes it. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Don't go with no frown and fears or nothing. Don't get up talking up, talk back to nothing. Amen. Amen. Humbly, he take it. Right. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's what that kind of high to God. I just found high to the truth. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because to do this, you have to take the cross. You take the cross in that truth. Right. Amen. Amen. Thank, thank you, Lord. Going through that humility. Right. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. For ye have need of patience. Ye have need of patience. That after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Please. Jesus. We're reading from Hebrews, the 10th chapter. We're now at verse 37. For yet a little while. Yet a little while. And he that shall come will come. He will come now. And will not tarry. He ain't going to tarry. He's going to come. He's going to be suddenly. He's going to come that quick. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, God. Mercy, Lord. Read it, brother. Verse 38. Thank you, Jesus. Now the just shall live by faith. Now the just Thank shall live by Jesus. faith. But if any draw back, my soul shall 
have no pleasure in him. God said, my soul shall have no pleasure in him or her. Amen. You repent of your sins. You got baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And I fill you with the Holy Ghost. God said, come on to help. But if you draw back from the word and from your teacher, hmm. how can you make it easy? But you despise your teacher. Oh, Lord Jesus. Look something he said. That's it. You'd be surprised there's people that go to church and they try to know, they try, they're looking for an exit to get out. 